Hi there, it's Jo. I'm here to give you a quick tutorial using your Silhouette Cameo and the Silhouette Cameo software in order to trace a digital image and be able to have your Cameo cut that image out for you. Now the way I'm going to be doing it today is I'm going to be leaving a small border around the image. I prefer mine that way. I don't like for it to be cut real, real close because then there's no um, real room for margin of error there. So this is how I'm going to show you and if you choose to uh, bring it in a little bit closer and you'll see what I mean by that in a few moments um, and cut even closer, less of a border than what I would do, you can do that with these instructions as well. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to want to do of course is to um, go up and give yourself the reg marks up at the top and you'll want to say show reg marks. Now, I usually like to bring them down so they're not as big. So I'm going down here and I'm making them a little bit smaller. So this way I'm able to um, conserve on my paper. So now the next thing you're going to want to do, go up to File, Open, and I'm going to switch from Silhouette Studio and I like using PNG images, but you can use your JPEGs, whatever you want. And I'm going to go ahead and choose a file. So I'm going to choose Nimbus Angel. And I'm just going to size her down a bit. What you can do, and is much easier, is if you go up here to your scale window, click on that. And I usually like to make my images about 4.5. And I'm going to lock the aspect ratio so that she doesn't end up wide as opposed to the actual size she is and then hit apply and now I've shrunk her down and we'll zoom in back out a bit mm. back in just a hair now that I have my image now of course it's not on the paper that I originally started with the mat I started with where I have the registration marks but that's fine because we're going to copy and paste it to go over there anyway so it's a little bit easier when you don't have the registration marks there to work with it. So now I have my image. The first thing I want to do is I need to go up to my trace window, which is up here at the top, the little blue. Click on select trace area. I'm going to go ahead and create a highlight around that. And now I'm going to pull over here and take off that high pass filter. Just click it. Sometimes it is very slow at coming off just depending on your computer and what else you have open. So, and then I usually like to move the threshold up and again depending on how fast your computer is and how fast it catches up. Um, I usually take it to about 97. Let's see what we can do with 92. Now I'm going to go ahead and click Trace Outer Edge. Right? That has traced my image. Now I don't want the image in there right now because it makes it kind of hard to tell what I'm doing. So I'm going to move this image off. Now I have the trace, but the only thing is this is an exact trace. So if I didn't get that back in there or my paper or something was just a little bit off, I'm going to probably cut like a little piece of her wing off or maybe a little piece of her hair, something like that. So what I want to do is I want to highlight this image and now I'm going to go over to the offset menu. And it's highlighted already so I'm good. I'm going to hit offset. That made a very large border. We don't want the large border. We want to bring it down. Now if you just want a small border and if you've seen any of my cards, I usually bring it down to about 30, sometimes 25 depending on my mood. All right, so now I have 30. So I want to click off of that. And now I got to click on that inside border. And you can see that was the inside. Move it over to the side and while it's highlighted, I'm going to hit the delete key and remove it. I no longer need that. Now, you'll notice right in this area and even down in here, there's some little spots that would be almost not necessary, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Because they're going to be such a tiny cut, 
you probably wouldn't even notice them other than it might look like the paper is a little bit frayed. So what I want to do is click on this image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say release the compound path. Now that I've released that compound path, I can click on this little tiny thing and it'll put a box around it, hit delete. Same thing again here, delete. And I'm going to take care of this other little tiny one right here, but I'm going to leave those two because that's cutting out around those ribbons. So now what I want to do is go here and highlight everything once again. And I'm going to right click and I'm going to go ahead and make it a compound path again. Now before I move that image back over, I like to make a mat. And at this point, you could do that if you wanted to. If not, then you're done. So I'm going to show you from that point. Stay tuned. We will have another video on how to do a mat. But now is all you have to do is you can move your image back over. And I know it's a little bit hard to see here, so I'm going to zoom in just a little bit more. And I can see it looks like the image needs to go up a little bit and maybe to the right. So I'm going to use my arrow keys. I like using the arrow keys to make the little adjustments because then I don't seem to jump as much. So now I think I have it all back in order and that leaves me a thin border around my image. So what I would do here is I'm going to zoom back out so you guys can see this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to highlight both of those pieces the trace and the image and I'm going to hit control G sorry or you could have right clicked and did uh, group as well so now that I have that grouped I'm going to go ahead and right click and do a copy and I'm going to go back over to where I created my um, reg marks and I'm going to paste it so I now have my image and I don't want it to go all the way up on those reg marks because that's a no-no. So I'm all ready. You can go ahead if you wanted to make a whole bunch of these just keep hitting paste or you can go on open up another image and do the exact same thing and then move it over to here so that you can create more than one um, so you're not wasting your paper. So I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any questions you can always leave them in the comments or leave them within the forum that this might be posted in. So I thank you again for stopping by and see you again soon.